Gridfinity is a modular 3D printed storage system and it is amazing what it can do to the inside of a drawer. I also use Gridfinity on my desk and there are a couple of things that I don't love about it. One, the base plates tend to slide around a bit. And two, I don't really like how it looks when the base plate isn't completely full. Today I'm going to show you how to solve that by casting your own Gridfinity base plate. So I've tweaked the original design, I've elevated the platform, and this will allow us to make castings of different depths. I added these slots on the side as a visual indicator of how deep the castings are. And we need some walls to hold liquid silicone around this form. And I flattened the top of the base plate. This will help prevent chipping of the castings. Just like the original, this model is fully parametric. So you don't need to make a 3x3 here, you can make any size you want. Let's print these out. In order to get super smooth castings, we need to do some post-processing in the prints. I'm starting with a coarse sanding here just to knock down anything that's sticking up and then adding a layer of diluted wood filler. This will fill in any major gaps in the print. The sanding of that. And finally, a few rounds of filler primer spray with sanding in between. If you don't want to do all this, you can print in a material like PVB, which I did for the walls, and then just spritz it with IPA and you get a nice smooth finish. You will be left with some evidence of layer lines, but honestly it looks pretty good. Now that everything is printed and smooth, it's time to assemble the mold box and pour the mold. I'm using a product called Moldstar 30. It's a medium hardness platinum cure silicone that does not require a vacuum chamber. Pour a thin high stream, starting from a low point, and let the silicone rise up from the bottom to the top, pushing up any air with it. Once that's cured, demold. It should come out fairly easily once you get your fingers under it. Now for the fun part. Our first casting, I'm using a product called Jesmonite AC100 for casting here. You can use something like cement or resin. Jesmonite is strong, sands really easily, and it takes pigment beautifully. I experimented with a few different casting techniques. We've got a solid sort of matcha green. really thick one where I filled up the entire mold. This weighed almost 600 grams, well over a pound. And finally some squirrels for a little more visual interest. Once your castings are cured you can do a wet sand on the bottom and then stick on some cork pad or silicone feet to give it a bit more grip and protect any surfaces you're gonna put this on. I am really pleased with how these base plates turned out. I've already got them on my desk. If you do end up giving this project a shot, please share and tag it with Castfinity. I'd love to see what you come up with. And if you were wondering if you can cast Gridfinity storage containers, part two is underway. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss it. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.